speed in this book was very important to us. We made it very clear to Samantha and, and Rick that we wanted to have her in Airgate's first book and that it would be an honor for us. And for them to give us that kind of support with their homebred multi-million dollar mayor was huge for us. And it was just beautiful and very exciting and to have um, a homebred grade one winner was just absolutely so special. She was a very sound filly and she could run from uh, six furlongs to one turn mile. She ran in grade one races from two, three, four and five and uh, was beaten in photos as a three-year-old in the acorn and as a four-year-old in the ballerina and then came back and won the ballerina as a five-year-old. Very, very special filly. All his big wins were dazzling. The, the Travers win was amazing and we watched him train up to the Breeders' Cup Classic and uh, we could just see he was just thriving, but that one was special. But the race he won in Dubai was absolutely miraculous to, get off so slow and have a total change in tactics and absolutely destroy that field was absolutely amazing and incredible. A is for arrogate, A is for absolute superstar, A is for anointing. Have we seen the anointing of the man of war of the 21st century, arrogate? And in the case of breeding um, by the moon to arrogate, you want to breed more size and more leg a little more scope. And my guess is, since Judmont had, had shown an interest in, in buying By the Moon in their own right, they obviously had done a lot of their homework and saw that she'd fit him well. And who's a better breeder in the world than Judmont? Yeah. So it'd be hard not to try to do what, what they wanted to do. It's also important for us that you know, they're going to keep that filly, they're going to race that filly, and that filly is going to be part of their family. And, and at the end of the day with these owner breeders, they're giving you a part of their family, uh, which is very, very important for us. She's medium sized, but she's very well balanced and very correct. And she's got a nice pretty head and a pretty eye, and hopefully her babies will look as beautiful as she, as she does. Her first foal's very nice looking, and uh, it's very exciting. And he's a big, beautiful, scopy horse. You want to match up the pedigrees and make sure the mare comes from a good family, is a good producer, ideally, or a good race mare. I, I really do like good race mares as brood mares. I see a lot of good horses coming from race mares that showed some ability. And there's no better way to, to find that ability in a mare like By the Moon, her dam By the Light is another good example of that. You know, Judmont's developed these families through the years. We understand how important it is to pick the right sires, to keep those families moving forward. And their belief in Arrogate, um, to me, says a lot that they're willing to take um, by the moon and breed her to Arrogate.